hi welcome back to our alphabet challenge today we are going to buy the word abattoir which is basically a i guess i can say it but a slaughterhouse um so what i decided to do is do a converted abattoir so that it's now a living because no one's no one's living there they work there that's the best we got so since alfalfa is now in some money i decided to go ahead and just have at it go as best as i could the only thing that i really had in mind was this little industrial space with a little field in the middle that normally was for i guess grazing purposes beforehand and that sort of thing I really wanted to emphasize that because I thought it would look so cool. So you'll see me start building this right about n whenever I decide. <laughs> right now. So this would have been the center of the build where I would have lush greenery and gardens and all that stuff. Basically what makes alfalfa alfalfa. And then I started looking at a blueprint of what they had. They had a lot of hallways. A lot of hallways with bigger rooms but because we're on a budget I tried to make them as thin as possible so I can get as many rooms as possible in there it it looks all right not the best but it's okay it's okay it gets the job done that's all we're asking for and you'll see me try to structure it out this way I was doing this on live stream so that was fun I've realized now that I could probably have done the turf was flooring instead of just hollowing it out but I think I think it's bad I think it looks good I think it looks looks pretty good you'll see me picking out the front door and going from there I had a specific style in mind because I was looking at pictures of abattoirs a lot of them were generic buildings just like flat generic buildings though I did want to do this like fun roof thing that I don't think I was able to do because even though roofs are free I might have had to do well I forgot what I did for the roof I think I wanted we'll see later that's a that's a later issue here I'm putting in stairs and realizing that I'm an idiot that they don't they don't connect and I don't know why. I want them to connect. And maybe if I did BB move objects, they would. But I don't. Oh, oh, here's the more industrial I got from the, I think the industrial kit. It's starting to look more industrial. I now regret this choice. I think it would have looked so much better with stone. Here we got, I tried putting stairs on either side and then covering up the covering up the foundation <laughs> so that they don't see so you guys can't see the foundation under it did I do a good job leave a comment saying if I did now we're gonna start putting now we're gonna do more stone because a lot of the avatars I've seen were stone based or like that smooth clay texture I'm not sure how to say it but it was basically just terracotta it was like terracotta yeah that was it and I was trying to replicate that I think we actually have a swatch for it in the Sims 4 because I distinctly remember finding the perfect match we'll see we'll see later I know I know I know I was the one that made this video and yet I don't know what's happening well I'll, I never know what's happening so but, oh, we finally got to put the 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 computer inside. I know that was the I know that was the archaeology table, but I think I put that in like a quote unquote desk space. Oh, there's there's a terracotta. That was the perfect color. That was the exact same color as the picture I was seeing, and these spandrels were the perfect spandrels. I was so excited to find it. And then I had to roof it. And boy was that a problem. <laughs> See yeah, I wanted to use these sorts of arches. I should have used I should have used those arches instead of these 
spandrels that for the open space I might go back and change that because it probably will look so much better if I just do arches around I can't show you but you know what I mean you know you get it I see a lot of builds with like three archways and I think three would be perfect and then another three and another three so it looks like there's like a column in between it that might look good I try I, we're gonna ignore that window because that window didn't end well these windows I absolutely adore with this build and I tried to put as many windows that I because I, I, I want windows I want windows so bad oh there's a computer that's a, and the computer actually broke because it's been outside this entire time but we can now upgrade our computer eee! I'm so excited now we're gonna light every room I don't know I sigh because I realize these those long those long rooms oh I was so stressed all I'm looking at them and getting stressed out because they're so thin oh here I'm trying to put a glass roof over it so it has that little nice dome effect and all those plants can now grow in any season so we're good to go let's see there's like t see the bed barely fits in there oh good I I did a smart thing I expanded it a little give it a little flavor and I think I had to do the same with the other side because the beds just wouldn't fit in there so they can like barely fit around it and I did give abalone and aardvark their own beds aardvark gets yellow abalone gets blue just so you know and then I decided to put everything purple and I absolutely hate this color I think I need to change it I don't know why I decided to go with vibrant purple I think oh I did change it I did change it you see I think I'm a few steps ahead that's good because that vibrant purple was not a it's, I don't know what you would do with that because it's not a mood it's not a mood let's see what else so we're starting to build put in bathrooms which is great I think we have four bathrooms now step up from peeing in a public toilet all the time which is great and we have showers toilets and showers oh heaven sent heaven sent I also put I know I put a window in the bathroom but it wouldn't it wouldn't have looked good if I didn't so I just put it you just cover it up you don't need to see anything and we can finally get shower baths in there which will hopefully help with future uh, future babies whenever we get them I know that right now we don't have any in the works because well at least on this page <laughs> but for I'm pretty sure that we're gonna have more babies and just having a bath is pretty helpful hopefully the boys can help take care of them so for all the bathrooms at uh, the bedrooms and that stuff I actually put carpet down because I thought they would like I thought they'd like a little fluffy something under their feet just to scrunch up and I don't know they feel like they feel like carpet people I personally want carpet I know it's horrible to clean but and hardwood floor looks so much better but I've been thinking about this a lot I just I just like comfy carpets I'm as long as they're clean they're great I love them amazing for the kids room I wanted to do something more fun but so this beautiful wallpaper I found I decided to put that all over their room and then do something as fun if with the mom's room but more sophisticated sort of fun I wanted to go I wanted to go herbology mom theme if that makes sense basically everything alfalfa has lots of plants lots of greenery lots of all that stuff I wanted to do that but for the kids I went a little more colorful and vibrant for them here I'm just changing up the wood tones and I 
These, I love these windows, they're so pretty. I don't think I actually centered the last ones. We'll see. As I watch this. And then I try to put a window in every room because windows without rooms is just so sad. But unfortunately, most of those windows are in bathrooms. So I was trying to find a good fit for the strangely shaped windows. Hopefully I was I was able to maneuver this that little tarp thing that came with the werewolf pack. So that was good to go. Then I finally figured out that I actually don't have a place for them to sit and eat. Like I don't have a dining space for them. I mean I could shove a table maybe. I though watching it back I realized I could have knocked down one of the walls, made a little space out of the three by twos that I have and put a little table that they could all sit at. That would have been a smarter idea. But instead I just squished a table in the corner and called it a day. Here I'm putting, I think I'm putting all the plants. Honestly, most of my budget went to plants. I know I have $50,000, but all of it went to plants. So who knows? <laughs> I got, if we, there's, just, there's just the bookshelf. The bookshelf is so thin and it fit perfectly and I was so happy. And I love that bookshelf. I want more bookshelves. I made a little book corner for her, a book nook, which fits with the kit that just came out. If we ever have to remake her house, I know exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna use that book nook kit. Cause I feel like she'd be such a, such a gardeny book sort of cheerful character I don't know I feel like her vibe that would be her vibe maybe a little cottage core thrown in you know like what's going around here I'm deciding that her favorite color is now purple so everything has to turn purple it's it's the cabinet problem again I keep I keep wanting purple and it's only neon purple but that's fine we can fix that so we have a little bookshelf, those thin little bookshelves that fit perfectly in that, the hallway. And now I'm building a little corner of the room with bookshelves. And I get to put a little chair next to the window so it should have perfect lighting when the sun hits. And I won't put, I might, I might put a curtain. We, I haven't gotten there yet, but I feel very strongly that I didn't put a curtain. So she'll be able to read by sunlight in the morning or whatever she wants and that's gonna be fun oh I want that so bad I have three things I want in my real house a sunroom so I can draw a book corner so I have a, like a little library and just basically all these a room for plants <laughs> oh I use the the vines oh that's so smart of me I'm so good <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, but I do think she it fits her aesthetic perfectly, like the eclectic book loving gardener that I'm trying to go for. I th there's a better word for it. I just I can't think of it right now. <laughs> we might be. We might we might get there. We might not. It's a journey I'm willing to take with you. And I g gave her did I leave the saplings? I did. I gave her little saplings that she's probably like tinkering with on the side she's like figuring out new recipe not recipes that's not how you don't make plants like food but she's figuring out new strains of plants and that stuff I feel like that's fun and these little those little desks fit so perfectly for the little the kids that was so great I tried going really not yin and yang but I tried to color them if that makes sense give them a color theme so that I know which side is which so one's white and yellow the other's black and blue which is fun I like it and now we're placing all the plants all the plants around the house there's so many plants oh my lord I cannot tell you how many plants we have because it's so many plants but that fits her vibe. That fits her garden-loving plant vibe that she's going for. And plus, 
lots of money in plants, so win the wins. I decided to do, oh, I know what I did with the dining table. I put an outdoors dining table and then surrounded it with plants, as you can see here. You're watching it the same. We're getting the same information, honestly, at this point. <laughs> I do not know what's happening, but this is fun. It's like I'm reacting to a video. My own video, but you know. Oh, we're doing the roofing. Oh, yay. I don't know what I did for this. Oh, this is sped up. That was sped up and it took so long to figure out. So I think my first goal was to have like two chapels and then I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what my goal was. I don't know why I thought I could roof this. I don't know why I didn't do two leaning roofs and then connect it. I think I'm doing that now. No, I'm not. I don't know what I'm doing. Or am I? No. Okay, so we have two triangle roofs and we do have two leaning roofs. I was right. I knew it. I was like, this girl's a genius. <laughs> but yeah, so now it's like a little. I don't. I don't know what that. I don't know what that's called. That's fun. No, I just saw it. Mm. Could I? I might have been able to move the. Who's he? What's it's back into the into the thing? No, I'll never know. And that might look might have looked stupid. You know what? I'm proud of what I did. I'm she's still a genius. Whoever made this beautiful, gorgeous, intelligent. She knows what she's doing. Not with the terrain paint, because my god that was horrible. I don't just ignore the terrain. And I think that is almost it. Yep. There we go. Woo, that was a lot. But now we only have like a hundred some, and I think our bills are two thousand. So I'm gonna get some more money before we head back home. Get some more things. Hopefully find that frog. Oh, and it looks like Ardvark and Avalonia are done for the day. Hopefully they're doing well at home. They didn't bring them on this trip. Didn't want to. <laughs> Alfalfa likes her alone time. So let's see, while we take off some stuff, let's see what's next on the list so we can figure out what we're doing. Abbey, dwelling place of community of monks or nuns, church of an abbey. Oh no. Well that sounds like another build challenge for me. And it's rebate day. And it's rebate day. I say we head home, destroy everything, then build it up, and then get more money for rebate day so we don't have to do this again. I just, I... I can't live in my abattoir. My abattoir. Oh. It was so perfect. It was so good. But I'll see you in a live stream soon. Hopefully within the next few days so I can get remember that I did that rebate. <laughs> Well, thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all next time. Bye-bye.